Show me the money. So, I'll show you the money. The Hamas money. Well, did you think that Hamas are just some poor and needy terrorists? No. Hamas is a billion dollar multinational organization. Let me say that again. Hamas is a billion dollar multinational organization. The annual budget for the Hamas regime in Gaza hits up to $2.5 billion. Yes, billion with a B. The group's top leaders are sitting on a personal fortune worth $11 billion. Hamas leader Ishmael Ania alone is worth more than $4 billion. No, he doesn't live in Gaza. Why would he do that? He has his own mansion in Qatar. Actually, Ania is so rich and known for his taste for luxury hotels that directly following the Shabbat massacre, the Four Seasons Hotel in Doha had to publicly clarify that he was not among its guests. While the people in Gaza live in poverty and are treated as human shields, Hamas leaders enjoy the good life. They're all about private jets and Michelin-starred restaurants and five-star luxury hotels. According to a report in the Saudi weekly Al Majala, the tunnel smuggling market in Gaza has transformed 1,700 senior Hamas officials into millionaires. The Hamas business is booming. I mean, literally. But where's all that money going? Not to the ordinary people of Gaza. Don't be naive. Hamas doesn't care about the Gazans. Hundreds of millions are spent on terror activities, with taxes and aid money being taken by force. While the majority of Gazans' population is struggling with high unemployment and poverty rates and limited electricity supplies. But what do Hamas leaders care? The people of Gaza are their lowest priority. And more importantly, who knows? There could be a Porsche sale next week in Doha. So it's time to spread the word. It's time to ask questions and it's time to demand answers. Because for Gaza to heal, the truth needs to come out.